Hundreds of special purpose acquisition corporations are now floating around in the financial ether, all hunting for the ideal company to merge with. The year 2020 has marked the start of a new trend among electric vehicle EV companies being public without going through a traditional IPO or initial public offering, which involves a lot of effort, reporting, and is much more expensive. The Lucid Motors SPAC merger gained a lot of attention, but what other acquisitions in the automobile business are out there? Welcome back to New Vehicle Media, your go-to channel for EV stock. Quick reminder that subscribing is free and liking the video helps YouTube suggest similar videos to you. Comments are loved and featured in upcoming videos. As investors grow increasingly doubtful of their future and securities regulators analyzing their financial statements, electric car startups that went public last year via SPAC transactions are attempting to prove their worth to Wall Street of their sustainability. Throughout the first half of 2021, the automotive sector maintained its 2020 trajectory of new energy vehicle and EV merger and acquisition, which was predominantly driven by special purpose acquisition company transactions. Eight of the top 10 worldwide mergers transactions were announced in the United States, including four SPAC transactions spanning the spectrum from electric vehicle manufacturers through EV charging solutions. To gain a solid feel of why the SPAC and electric car mergers are so interesting right now, Engel, a former GM executive, left the car manufacturer in Detroit and formed a new SPAC, the Cal Acquisition Corp., which is investing in a fast-growing business in the mobility, transport, or sustainable industrial technology sectors of the future generation. The strength of the United States stock market, the continued growth in the price of Tesla's stock, and the steady stream of EV announcements, along with the press coverage, have all combined to focus a great deal of attention and money on the search for the next Tesla. There aren't likely to be many more Tesla-like firms emerging in the next several years. However, the most promising candidates are likely to be solid upstart OEMs such as Rivian and Lucid Motors, as well as a solid-state battery company such as QuantumScape. The following companies are likely to be involved in future SPAC mergers later this year or next year. Rivian Rivian is one of the pioneers in the market of autonomous electric vehicles (EVs) released in 2009. Founded by Robert J. Scaringe, the company has reached the stage where it can commercialize. Rivian intends to start delivering its two consumer cars in 2021, a pickup truck, the R1T, and a sport utility vehicle, the R1S. Amazon also has a 100,000 commercial delivery vehicle order on the books. According to Bloomberg, EV company Rivian initially planned an IPO in September with a valuation of around $50 billion. However, the rumors are that Rivian is not planning to commence deliveries of its R1T electric pickup truck and R1S electric SUV this summer. The IPO could be delayed until later this year or in 2022, and the value could alter. Rivian has already raised more than $8 billion in capital, including $2.65 billion in its most recent round, which closed in January 2021. At a $50 billion value, it would be one of the largest initial public offerings of the year, as well as one of the most notable electric vehicle listings since Tesla's 2010 offering. Bloomberg News stated that the business was valued at $27.6 billion in the fundraising round. Rivian received $2.65 billion in funding from a consortium of investors led by T. Rowe Price Group, Inc. in the round. Aurora Reinvent Technology Partners Y, the newest SPAC, and self-driving car startup Aurora have agreed to a reverse merger, which will allow Aurora to go public. The date has yet to be confirmed. The combination will offer Aurora an additional funding to create independent automobiles and, subsequently, self-driving passenger vehicles. Sterling Anderson, Drew Bagnell, and Chris Urmson had a high-flying year with Aurora, which was launched in 2017. In December, the company secured an agreement with Uber to purchase the self-driving unit of the ride-hailing business in a convoluted deal valued at $10 billion. From a commercial standpoint, Aurora's decision to begin with the low-hanging fruit of self-driving trucks makes perfect sense. If Aurora is successful in its attempt, the self-driving truck product it develops will offer it access to a massive market in which Volvo and Paccar both have a significant presence. 
Afterward, it will be able to use the earnings to continue its research and development of self-driving technologies for urban environments. Solid Power Solid Power, a battery developer supported by Ford and BMW, is also considering to go public. The company reported that it would move to the Nasdaq via a merger of $1.2 billion on the market after the deal with an SPAC called Decarbonization Plus Acquisition Corp. The SPAC acquisition is expected to be concluded in the fourth quarter of 2021. The ticker symbol SLDP is planned to trade on the NYSE. It's anticipated that the purchase will produce about $600 million in cash, including $165 million of private public equity investment pipe, by Cox Strategic Platforms, Riverstone Energy Limited, Neuberger Berman, and Van Eck Associates Corporation. Ford Motor Company and BMW AG have expressed confidence in Solid Power's ability to meet expectations. The two automakers were the driving force behind Solid Power's $130 million Series B funding round in May 2021, and they have signed joint development agreements for automotive-scale batteries to be produced on Solid Power's pilot production line and delivered in early 2022. Vertical Aerospace OVO Energy founder Stephen Fitzpatrick established a British flying taxi company, which is now in advanced talks with Bronstone Acquisition Corps, a blank check merger that will see another major British technology company go public on the US stock market. Sky News revealed that Vertical Aerospace, created five years ago by Mr. Fitzpatrick, is about to enter into a contract with Bronstone Acquisition Corps. The agreement was projected to value the company's first commercial flights to about $2 billion in 2024, or £1.4 million. The merger is expected to take place somewhere in the second half of 2021. Aerospace was founded with the goal of being a zero-carbon aircraft pioneer. Mr. Fitzpatrick is widely acknowledged as having recruited one of the most talented teams in the industry. Michael Cervenka, a former executive of Rolls-Royce, is in charge of the company. The Conclusion In reality, it is tough to build a new company in the capital-intensive automotive industry, and it is difficult to design whole new transport networks, and both might be exponentially more difficult when done simultaneously. The probable result is that one or two major winners will come out of this mud, and the remainder will be left behind. But that's in the future, however. It's hard to distinguish who those winners might be when you look at the EV to SPAC route today. From our previous video, What If Lucid Stock Split Happens, Rice Last believes that the stock split won't happen until Lucid reaches $500, which he backs that it will in the coming year. What do you guys think of this prediction? Do you agree with him? Let me know in the comments section. That should wrap things up for today. Keep in mind that subscribing is still free and liking helps YouTube recognize your preferences. Thank you for taking the time to watch and I look forward to seeing you in the next one.